17 rad central heating system and a heat pump. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Look at this. We've got designer radiators. I need to start this with my name's Alan Hart, don't I? I keep getting grief for that. My name's Alan Hart. My name's Alan Hart and today I've been invited to a heatable install down in London. This is a period property, so it's got a few challenges on this job. So we're gonna go through that, we're gonna go through the install, show you the challenges. We've got Ben here as well. So Ben's gonna talk, tell us a little bit about this job, why he's doing this job and what he doesn't really fit in with what heatable normally do. So yeah, let's get into it. So Ben, could you tell us why you're doing a hybrid heat pump to start with? It's not a, this is not a heatable install normally, is it? This is... Uh, yeah, so we don't, we do actually sell the hybrid heat pumps on the website, but we primarily specialise in high efficiency gas boilers. So this came to us, the client approached us and said, I've got a really old system, but I've also got a really old property. So we actually had a floor stand in Ideal Mexico, which you've probably serviced a lot of them in your time. But they're about 45, 50% efficient, something like that. He had micro bore pipe work throughout the property. So we took a look at it and we looked at various solutions. One of them was a full heat pump. Um, but once we get in it, we did some heat loss calcs and we realized it's got single glazing, solid brick construction. There's a mix of solid floors. Um, suspended floors and none of it is insulated, it wasn't going to work. But the client had an ambition to do his bit and to reduce his dependency on gas. So a solution that we have is a halfway house, which is a hybrid heat pump. And what this is essentially is a small four kilowatt heat pump that runs the heating in the property, but is supported by the gas boiler. So the gas boiler does the hot water, the heat pump runs the heating, and if the heat pump is struggling, so if it's really cold outside um, or the client wants the property um, at a particular temperature and the heat pump realises its efficiency is going to drop through the floor, then the gas boiler steps in and supports it. So first of all, we've got here, we've got this one, an old radiator in here. So this has been removed. This was only actually a small radiator for this room. And what we've got here, there's three fancy radiators going on here. Yeah, three fancies. And as, as we said already, ideally in an ideal world, we'd be putting white pressed steel yeah. radiators on there because they give the best output. But it's not only just about the best output, it's what the customer wants. Yeah, you've got to be sympathetic to the build of the property and the look. It's obviously, it's a very, very nice property. It's got lots of period features and they wouldn't really work. What we've done to sort of have like a halfway house is rather than just replace one radiator for one small fancy one, is we've increased the amount of convection in the property. So we've added more radiators, but also given the custom the look they want. So you've done a heat loss on this property and then you've designed the rads to suit that heat loss. Yeah, we did it with Downer from Alpha and then we've got a, the best solution we could with the aesthetics the client wanted. Right, okay, let's go around, let's have a look. You can see some of the conversion pipe work there. We've put a small radiator in just for the area and cupboard or whatever, you know, for essentially its, its purpose. The gas boiler has been sited here, and that's the ETEC 33HB. So that is the, it's an ETEC combi boiler essentially. It's a 33 kilowatt combi boiler. Uh, very efficient, but it's the one that's got the PCB that can talk to the external unit. So as you said, had a floor standing boiler in here. Yeah. Very inefficient. Very, very old. 40, 50% efficient, something like that, maybe. Yeah. And then we've got a boiler now that's gonna be at worst, it's going to be like 90% efficient, but yes. actually it can go up to, is it 160%? Or up to 160, like depending on the flow temperature, you get about 160% combined efficiency, yeah. Right, let's go and have a look upstairs. So this radiator, this is the old radiator, and this has had to be left in on this particular one. It's been piped into the new system. All the rest of the house is new. Under this floor here, this has all been renewed. So this is all copper now. And then if we go inside, we can see we've got laminate floors again, makes the system really tricky to update. 
and then we've got some new fancy pipe work in here. So again, it's all in copper. So again, just to show the challenges of a period property, we've got laminate floor down in here and the floors, when they've lifted the floors up on this, it's quite challenging. The joists go in different directions. So when they try to put the pipe work in, again, very challenging. If we're gonna do a full heat pump in this property, then ideally we'd be putting internal insulation in here so we can get this heat loss to be lower. But as we can see on this, we've got internal moldings and it'd be such a challenge and it would just damage the property really. So that's why a hybrid heat pump, in my opinion, is the perfect solution for this property. But please put a comment below, let me know what you think. And then if we just go over here, we can have a look at the radiator. So again, it's all been piped new in copper. It's a new designer radiator. We've got a thermostatic radiator valve is gonna go on this side. And then just as normal lock shield on that side. So as we can see, we've got another challenge in this property. We've got like front dormers and you can't, you wouldn't be able to fit big massive radiators on here. So they've had to put small radiators on and then they're going to connect them together. Got some nice little copper fittings in that. And they're going to put some pipe, bend some pipe around here and then just connect them together. So we've got all the gas in now, or well, we've got the gas up to the roof, well, George has. So we've got gas there, 20, 28 mil gas on this. It just runs round and runs round side at building. And then as we come round here, the gas is gonna go in and down to the boiler. We've also got the heat pump now. This heat pump is on the roof and it's just ready to pipe in. So what this will do, this is gonna work in conjunction with the gas combi boiler and it works out, and we'll get Dan later on just to tell us a little bit, a little bit more about it, but it works out which is the cheapest way to heat the house. If it's cheaper to use the heat pump, then the heat pump will come on. If it's cheaper to use the gas boiler, the gas boiler will come on. Fuel price security is the biggest thing that we've found with customers now. Yeah. So like this customer, for example, if anything, you know, kicks off around the globe and it causes an effect to energy prices. You know, you can see gas prices surge or electricity prices become really cheap because there's abundance of renewable energy. Then we simply just change our parameters and we just put new tariff in our controllers and the system adapts. So a really interesting part of the product is you have it installed now and it will always give you the cheapest heating permanently. George. So you've done a few of these heat pumps now. Yeah. I just, can you tell us a little bit how easy compared to fitting a normal boiler? D to be honest, they're, they're no different from a normal boiler. Um, the heat pump itself just goes in sort of as a, as a magna clean would. So it just gets teed in, it just gets elbowed into the return on both sides. So it's just sort of like in line. So in terms of pipe work, it all depends on how far you are away from your boiler, obviously, but they're pretty simple. I mean, it connects onto the valves. It, it's, they're easy as far as they go. And what about the wiring to it? Wiring, you've got live neutral on earth and then just a two core for your bus cable. So, and again, does that just go back, that goes back to the boiler? Just goes straight back to your boiler. The Alpha Smart Tech plugs into the boiler itself and it comes with pre-made cables ready to go in this as well. So then you're just gonna put the customer's details in there, their gas and electric it. prices, and they, it'll work out They download out the, the app. The app, they set up themselves, um, obviously with their own login details, stuff like that. And then obviously from there, Alpha do put their the standard rates at the energy price cap for the gas and electricity, so it's sort of preset for them, but the customer can alter that and put in their own energy tar tariff rates. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty much set up as it's, it's plug in and play almost. And this install that you've been doing today, can you tell us a little bit about this install? Tell me a, f a few challenges. <laughs> that been, look mean, at that camera there. And I mean, be honest to that camera. Nothing's been easy with it. Um, obviously, 17 floor standing reds. Yeah, hard enough as it is, obviously all new pipe work. The house has got to be a good 100 years old, so obviously running that through, all the pipe work through the floor and stuff, is, it's not easy, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And and the job, is a smashing job, he's done a really good job of this, and obviously it's gonna save customer some money on the bills. 
So that's the air source heat pump or the hybrid air, air source heat pump fully installed now. What's the benefits for this customer? So they are doing their bit to help reduce carbon and, and save the planet, if you like, a little bit. Um, but more importantly with this heat pump, it'll work out which is the cheapest way for them to heat the house, which I think is a really good idea. So with a standard heat pump, it's set so that, you know, let's reduce as much of the carbon and all that stuff as much as possible. With this, it's designed a little bit different that you've got your combi boiler in the house. It's always gonna do what a combi boiler does. So it's always gonna do the heating. It's always gonna work really well for the heating. And also it's all, always gonna do the hot water. But on when it can do, when it's the best and cheapest time, then the heat pump will come in, which will help reduce the bills. But if you do have any questions on hybrid heat pumps, please put a comment below and I'll try my best to answer them the best I can. And once again, thank you to Heatable for inviting me to this install today and um, check us out for the next video.